<laughs> hey. On the final day of the live stream, my true love gave to me four squad members, one director, and Brian. <laughs> wow. End of okay, there. and that's everybody it, everybody. Thank you so else. much. <laughs> <laughs> um, Perfect. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the final live stream of the Kickstarter, the miracle, of the, 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 the miracle of the grunge. The miracle of the grunge. The miracle of the grunge. And it's a damn miracle that we're here. Yeah, really. let's get into it. <laughs> let's get into it. So, human life. It's Every sacred. Earth. No, um, that would be. Uh, Where yeah, did we come from before again. this? Where do we Where go? Where are we going? Where do we come Where from? Where do we come from? from? Got that joke. There is. That's a joke no from Solid Squad back in biz. There is no past. There is no past. That's true. Oh, That's I have deep for puppies you. who want to come see me. Live each Hi. one like it's your last. Hi, puppies. Hey, everyone Hi, in the chat. Someone. Should everyone start by showing their animals? <laughs> Yes. Here's my Nox. This is my puppy. Yay! Hi, bud. Oh. Say hi to everybody, Nox. Hi. How do you spell Yay. How do you spell Nox? Is it K N O X? K N O X. Yes, it Where's is. K N O. Where's Winston? Yeah. Winnie Winston. is uh, controlling the backyard, just making sure <laughs> there's no no squirrels or birds. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's really helpful. Yeah, he's really in control. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> We're we're blessed. That's the miracle is that uh, he he protects us. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. My wow. pet is this Yeasty Boys bagel, which is nice. really fucking delicious. And Yeasty um, Boys. you know, people have different theories about mm -hmm. eating. You know, different. Um, what do you mean? What uh, what kind of theories? Just theories about eating on uh, eating on live streams. You know, some people are like What's for the it. Theory some people are against it. it. I say go for it. Yeah, it's. Okay, great. You have a human yeah, body, but you need to keep alive? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, a lot of people want to don't? present on live streams as not human. Yeah. I I'm, I'm just a man. That is like man. an aesthetic goal. Yeah. yeah exactly. Human. Oh, apparently I'm frozen for everyone. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah, on you the chat. Still, but can you still hear Gabe? Is yeah. the question, chat. You can yeah. hear Gabe. Because if you I can hear, hear Gabe. The chat. If I'm frozen in a cool position, fuck it. You know? Yeah, like, you're, if, if you're like, just, just frozen moving. like this. Yeah, you're if not I'm frozen, frozen looking for me, cool. you are yeah, just right. like, you, your video is maybe like going like one frame per second. Yeah, so like I would maybe. You are actually like the robot. Yeah. I'm, so I'm sorry to say, Gabe, but I would maybe get out of the browser and then come back in. Yeah, let Whoa. me do that. Also, it may be a stupid question, but are you in Chrome? No, should I be in Chrome? I should be you gotta be in Chrome. Oh, gotta be in Chrome. Gotta be in Chrome. Oh, Chrome. Oh, oh, Chrome. Gotta Chrome it up. I'll be man. back, team. I'll be back. I'm gonna be in Chrome. I Chrome am in optimized. Chrome, but for some reason I can't see the chat, so I'm also gonna reboot because oh, really? I don't want to be left out. Okay, yeah, great. Right Bye. Okay. This gives us a great opportunity <laughs> to introduce Lauren Lopez, Lauren Lopez. and Diane. Hello Wait, and welcome to the you, show. It's not just Diane here today. So this is Diane. <gasps> yeah. But then also, hold on. In this brick wall. <laughs> wow. She just ghosted. We got a little Piku. Wow. We got Pickles. Say hi, Pickles. That's not a Diane. That's a Pickles. That's Pickles. Pickles so is Pickles a fancy boy. Is, um, the, one of the, the chillest dogs I've ever met. He like, really is. You want to put him on your lap? Great. Pickles you is a little. Ignore him? Great. He just does his thing. He's been a little. What did like, you say about um, me? He's been. We were talking about. Uh, you put we're you on your on the lap girl. and you just ignore us and do your thing. We're a, we're dog sitting for our friend, uh, our other Ashley friend, Ashley Ash Trash Ashley Trashley. Um, and she, uh, her dog Pickles, like, Pickles is just, he's a little emo boy where he'll, like, sit by himself and just stare out the window a lot. And he, like, mm -hmm. will be, he needs like, a lot of, like, thinking time. time. He needs a lot of alone time. It's very, very I relate. special. Yeah. 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 I relate, too. Um, so, big news, y'all. Um, we started writing the show. We started writing this show. 
we knew what this show was, but we started actually putting pen to paper, i.e. fingers to keyboards. And, you know, no. if it was even possible, that got me amped up another level of excitement to do this with you all in the fall. Yeah. Am I in it? And no. You're going to be... You're going to be singing. Whether we you made like it or some not. cuts. We made some <laughs> big cuts. Uh, new characters, new crew. Um, I will say you know. one of the benefits, I maybe the only benefit of living with Joey. <laughs> Just kidding. No, the, one of the benefits. <laughs> you live with benefits Joey? Living, yeah. Um, is that I, I, get, I get to hear little snippets of things before they're done and some of the jokes that are in the script are really funny and just like some of the concepts are really funny too. there's just some funny yeah there's some funny yeah it's good i there's like we've we've been like solidifying who like a lot of the additional characters are going to be that like some that brian will play some that like other actors will play and it's just there's some funny Funny new dynamics of new people that we're introducing. Um, it's great. It's great. There's some. There's some good bits. Right, yeah. We yeah. put together the we put together the audition sides for your characters. So we'll probably need those within 24 hours of the Kickstarter ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just pass great. that along and. Great. Yeah. There's okay. a good chance yeah, we're going to be sending making an some... email that says like we'll look at these through 10 a.m. tomorrow, but sooner would be better and send yeah. it at 9 p.m. the night before. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's 12 pages. We're gonna need a full body slate. Um, <laughs> God, the and and you don't feel like you have to set up slate. a fake studio. Use your environment. Slate. We really want to like see where you live. Yes. And if you could like know, show I... us the inside of closets, we are so nosy. Yeah. I, I had one that was like, remember that one low where I had to be like a soccer player? And they were yes. like, we're not saying like go to a soccer field and like play a game of soccer, but like but we're not, not. Was this about. was this a commercial audition, Joe? Yes. yes. Like a couple. I, like I had the same one. Maybe like yeah. a year ago or something. Truly, like 100%. the audacity of them to require just like hours and hours and hours of unpaid labor so that they can fucking not watch it. I had a commercial audition (laughs) last year that required that you include video of your sports skill. And like, that's what I saw first. And I was like, what do I have listed as a sports skill that my agents (laughs) could have possibly submitted me for? And it was hiking. (laughs) And I didn't didn't have a video of me hiking because hiking is walking. I would argue that the environment around you is what makes it hiking versus walking. (laughs) You don't have video of you. I made... Brendan, like, have a come reel? to Griffith Park with me and, like, film me, like, walking up a freaking hill and while doing it, ran into somebody else who was doing it. And he was like, oh, the hiking audition? And I was like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh you my were, like, God. in the back oh of each other's frame. <laughs> That's, That's funny. So I mean, I usually funny. just immediately turn down those auditions, which is why I'm doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> I did not book it. <laughs> I did. I the one that I turned down from like beginning of the pandemic was one where it was like it was like FedEx or something like that, and they were like, yes! "We want to show you like getting a package, putting the package in your car, driving with the package," and I was like, "Absolutely not." <laughs> like you're asking Brendan had that one. Brendan had that one. There's no way. Um, um, I good okay. for him, man. I could not. Oh uh, no, I don't think we did all of that. Oh, so Beatrice um, said Ashley is an incredibly skilled walker, which I don't know how they know that, but you know, I believe it. And um, you don't even know if just... I have legs right now. That's mm-hmm. fair. Um, if you want to throw questions in the chat, also we'll pop them up on the screen and answer them to the best of our ability. Uh, mostly stuff about commercial auditions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Corey's, Corey's rotating backgrounds. Anything at all. Our Ooh. careers. Yeah. Um. Ashley, what were you saying? Like, yeah, we don't know you have legs. Have you had that experience yet where you meet someone in real life for the first time that you've only known over Zoom and you're like, how tall are you? Yes, um, yes, yes, 100%. Well, remember that like my internet fame started on a show in which where, I was primarily yeah. framed like this. Yeah. So I met hundreds of people at conventions <laughs> who were both like, I thought you'd be taller and oh my God, you have legs. <laughs> like I've heard that. <laughs> So That's much, so, so you, often. I thought you'd be a, taller. I am average height, by the way. Like, I'm not like I'm four tall. I'm yeah. just four. That's average for a woman. That's tall. In yeah, it's yeah. not tall, but it's average. Me, it's tall. <laughs> I think of you as taller. 
Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, no, that's just actually ever said that to me. Is that good? Yeah. 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 <laughs> is that right? Is, is, is that a good height? Six is five? that a good height? Good? I want to be able to like have to have all of my clothes custom made and not be able to sit in a normal yeah. car. Yeah. I want to be even more uncomfortable on an airplane. That's like the yeah. dream. Right. Airplanes are insane to me because as I've mentioned, I'm 5'4 and fairly petite and I don't feel like I have enough space on a plane. So how does like cool. anybody else it's like the Next only thing that up. wasn't designed with a six foot tall man in mind. Because like I have a, a collection of friends of mine who are, are yeah right are are built to be a six foot tall. Yeah, man. they don't test cars for women, but apparently you're all supposed to be like a, a five foot tall like twelve year old on a plane. I um occasionally when we're around the house, I'll make Lauren stand on like a stepping <laughs> stool so she can feel how things don't are make when. Me. I'll be like, get up on here. Um, I'll like lift her up and do this. Yeah. This is what things look like from my perspective. Well, like yeah. spe- specifically with like doing the dishes, because I feel like I'm so tall standing over the sink and my like, <laughs> and I'm like, right? and you're like reaching up to try to like reach into it, and I'll be like, look at this, you know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it, it, it's just. It's just a fun but thing. You know what? We do. I will say also as a very short person, planes are very uncomfortable for me as a short person too. I feel like mm. they are only made for like, like five, three, five, four. That's, th- that's it. Mm. Because do your feet not short, sit comfortably on the ground? Yes. My feet mm-hmm. do not touch the ground like a child. And <laughs> it actually really hurts because you can't, you don't have mm. anything to like support. Stabilize. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why they don't do that thing that Amtrak does where they have like that little footrest that'll pop I out. I you know. would die. Because you have to pay for business class for that, okay? They, yeah, no, that's, that's maybe an upgrade. Like, that used to be like not in business class on like, I know. at least on international flights too. Like they would have that. Look, I, I need that last year and JetBlue made you pay to bring a carry on bag. That's happening all the time now. Oh, it's yeah. awful. Mm-hmm. And there was somebody it's at awful. the gate, and they were like, "Oh, your ticket doesn't include a carry-on bag, <laughs> like or a checked bag. Like your ticket includes a human body." Yeah. I mean, that's the same with like the seat thing, where it's just kind of like every ticket includes. A seat. It's like every airline should just do like what Southwest does, where it's just like you don't get to pick a seat; you just get to no, go where you go. I just don't get like on that. the plane. No, 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 Why? I don't like that. But also, it doesn't even matter because I paid to get like a premium seat a few months ago just because, like, with COVID, I want to be closer to the front of the plane, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And um, I was about to get on the plane and they went, you know, we, uh, you can't have this. We need it. Like, the airline <laughs> needs it. And then they were just like stuck me in the back in a middle seat. And I was like, this. What? Did they like, give you a bunch of money for that? They what? refunded me the money, but I was like, I don't want the money. I want the seat. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> That flight should be free at that point. Like, yeah, Ugh. that's I insane. Love, I love We're gonna the put you in the luggage saying, compartment. I, like I, I was trying saying, to. Say, <laughs> you can't have this. No, no, no. Yeah, like <laughs> Mr. Delta needs a seat. Yeah. Well, they didn't call me. <laughs> ask initially. It was like right as I was like scanning my ticket to go on the plane. They were like, "Oh, by the way," and they just printed a new boarding pass and just gave it to me. And I was like, oh, "You're here oh now." My God. I can't imagine yeah. what it could have been. Do they need like a four. Um, I don't know. Like maybe there was air like marshal. another there was like a pilot or an air marshal flying was my best guess. Um, or it was broken. I don't know. You know what else the seat? is wild is like, you know, <laughs> the difference between a coach seat and like business class or especially first class is like thousands of dollars. It's like yeah. but you pay thousands of dollars to get and I only know this because I was randomly upgraded to business class once in my life and I was like oh my god people pay thousands of dollars for this upgraded seat to just be treated like kind of more like a human (laughs) like and you're like it's because because it's on a plane we're like this is so nice you have like a real napkin and a real fork and you're like and someone says hello right to a real napkin (laughs) no one has kicked me in the face that's (laughs) that's why like um have you seen it's in LA I think it's it was like a there's like a Pan Am like dining experience thing where it's like a 
recreation of a cabin of like a old plane. I don't want that. What? No, and, and and it's supposed to be like it a used fun, to be like, luxury. It used to be like glamorous like thing. Sky. But I go, yeah. I, that stuff is nice because you're you know flying through the air. But like once you're on right. land, like that's yeah, not, you got yeah. nicer then, stuff. Yeah, but also like to accompany that, it was like. Like you put on a suit to get on a flight, and now yes. I'm like, yeah, I'm not wearing my most comfortable leisure. Yeah, I'm bullshit. in my pajamas. Hundred like, percent. Yeah. I'm like, I'm always amazed. I feel like every time I travel, there's always at least one person who just looks so chic, and like yes. they'll be in their like flight. stiletto heels as yes. well. Yes, and, and they'll just like, look what? so good, and they'll have like. They're, they're like designer bag and they'll look, they'll just look so clean and everyone else looks like absolute dog shit, myself included. And then like <laughs> you get off the plane eight hours later and that person still looks like that. Which is witchcraft. <laughs> Who are well, these people? If there's, I mean, are they sitting in like business? Because probably there's like a bathroom that you can actually like do things in. Yeah. Um, right. and not, yeah. And like you can freshen up. You can like change your clothes. Mile high club. My- no, not that. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's probably because yeah. they're having sex in the air. Yeah, they're, 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 <laughs> which everyone knows is very good for your skin. Yeah. So you glow. You know, everyone knows after you have sex, you look better. You look put together. Um, you, you always do. This is- um, but I think I think a lot of those people are like flying like to a business meeting. They get off the flight, yeah. they go to their business meeting, they do that for two hours, and then they turn right back around. Fly back like, because pre COVID that made sense in yeah. corporate America. You got to be there in person. For Who two brought hours? up the question? I brought up the question because <laughs> I think this is a good and very apt question for these conversations we're having, which is do you discover new things about each other when you've worked a lot with each other? Every, every time, Constantly. I think, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We are all yeah. uh, endlessly complicated human beings. And uh... we learned today, yeah. even, that like <laughs> Ashley isn't 6'5. We all thought. Yeah. yeah. That's that's true. I've never seen Ashley's legs, to be honest. Every time that's I work with Ashley, I th- I always just look up. Uh, just my, my when we meet Ashley, I assume to look up even if uh, you know, I have to look a little bit. As back. soon as Gabe's eyes start to wander, we go, Hey, hey, eyes up here. Eyes up here. Eyes up there. Eyes up here. Eyes up there. Eyes up there. <laughs> Um, um, anyway, um, should we just um, 20 minutes in say why we're here? I mean, I'm sure yeah, most sure. people know. <laughs> but, I um, mean, that's the, that's the that existential question you brought up at the beginning, Brian. Why are, why we, are we here? here? This is, it's like the beginning of Drive My Car. It's like a 40 minute movie and then the credits roll. And you oh, go, yeah. oh, now we're going to show you a movie. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's the last day of the Kickstarter campaign. It's been a quick one, but it's been super successful and uh, we've got about an hour and a half left and we'll be streaming until the campaign ends at 12 p.m pacific time here with the squad um and, and uh, popcorn and ashley <laughs> it w- okay uh i was just gonna follow up real quick with just saying uh it was so wonderful last night you know we were we were around like 47 or 48 that I was like, oh man, like 37, where I was like, oh man, we're going to hit this. We're probably going to hit this other goal on the the stream tomorrow. And it was like, it was so, it was like Christmas morning waking up and being like, wow, it happened. So for all of you out there who have backed the project so far, thank you so much. We like flew past that goal. And now we are I mean, we're on our way to 45. If we hit it, great. If we don't, whatever. We're at 42. No, no, no. If we don't, we'll cry. If we don't, now, we'll cry on this live true. stream. Oh, you know Do what you works? Want to see us cry. But we're at 42, 198. So, you know, we're just on our way, which is very exciting. And um, oh, just exciting. thank you all who has, like, uh, thank you all who have, like, backed the project so far and, like, made this, like, a really nice, 23 days which is crazy because it's the shortest one we've done but um, i'm I'm excited that we get to release back in biz because i've never seen it (laughs) Uh, yeah yeah. right so at 30k we were doing the project they wouldn't show it to me for free and i just couldn't afford to buy it no we we finished (laughs) we finished doing it and then ashley said can we send can you send a video and we said and we like sent her a link to gumroad and we went (laughs) 
Uh, no, I don't think I ever if, asked. <laughs> we said if you, months you, from now everyone backs it on Kickstarter, then we'll send you a We go, you know, you guys will all be able to see it in the event that we do another project a uh, year and a half from now. And, we and use then we it set a goal. Like, this is yeah, that's what you said. I remember money. it. I think we should take the money from the Kickstarter. Okay. Honestly, cancel Where's the show going? and then take that and buy one of those $25,000 Emirates tickets and then <laughs> and then choose and then play like some sort of game and whoever wins gets to go on it. Mm, cool. That's okay. a good idea. That's um, an idea. It's an airplane with a shower. But they have to live stream the whole time. Yes. That's the catch. <laughs> whoever yeah. gets picked has even to do it the entire time. Yeah, yeah you, could, you have to live stream even if you're watching like a weird, you know, shitty movie. Sorry, what? But have, has anyone seen those TikToks of people who are like, here's what it's like to travel business class on Emirates. And it's like the most luxurious thing you've ever seen. Okay, you uh, need to find but I believe that. That's, that. that's not my algorithm, but I... Okay. Yeah, it's not, it's not my algorithm. <laughs> that's all I watch. Okay, my TikTok algorithm is mostly like mental health stuff. And also, did you know that everyone in the world is a better singer than you? That's what my algorithm <laughs> says. Huh. Did you know that everyone in the world is Idina Menzel? And also, okay. here's some stuff to deal with your messed up brain. If you want to feel better, though, that. there's a raw feed of Idina Menzel's microphone from like a performance around the time of Wicked's in Times I've, Square. Yeah, no, I mean, like, she's a human being and it's, yeah. Also, but, yeah I she's like allowed that she to... is not a perfect yeah. singer. I think that is really nice. We should normalize people having off days, being pitchy. Yeah. These are normal things that vocalists deal with. Yeah, everyone oh, on TikTok is, has edited that audio. <laughs> yeah. My my algorithm yeah. is uh, stunts, dogs, D and D stuff, and uh, <laughs> everyone in the world being like, "I'm bisexual." The number of bisexuals you show up on TikTok. It's incredible. TikTok trying to tell you like something. Every other yeah. video is being like, I like someone hey, going I'm like, like, "Great." I like someone going. Hey, I'm bisexual, and then getting on a motorcycle and shooting <laughs> over like. A, yeah, it's the beginning of like a jackass a prank. Of... Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm bisexual, and I'm gonna and jump this motorcycle to over this crevasse. <laughs> bisexual stunts. <laughs> yeah, this Man, is pretty gold. Cool. Right. Um, this so keeping it in the holiday spirit, um, uh, Jake was wondering. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any favorite winter holiday traditions? Ooh. And thanks for keeping it non denominational, Jay. Mm -hmm. The winter um, time is, is the time where we embrace all of the traditions. I love so many what? traditions. <laughs> I love every around. tradition. I love I love the food. I love the lights. I love the decorations. I love the presents. I love the gatherings. I love the things. Yeah. I, I don't do anything the... religious. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. But I love um, my secular Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, I uh I I like the general coziness yes. of that time. Even in LA it gets chilly. And you Yeah, no, it gets like the perfect amount of chilly. Like I'd like to wear a sweater, but I do not want to need a parka and a hat and gloves and boots and then for yeah. the snot to freeze to my face every time nah. I step outside. Yeah. We've too all much. lived nah. in the real cold. It's too much. And we chose not to stay there. We, that's right. That's we, absolutely we like, right. You know, like we like build our gingerbread houses or the holidays low. Oh we yes, like you do. You we like have all of our movies. Has um, Joey ever won the no. gingerbread competition? That's okay. One day, Joe. I know. This you year. shouldn't stop playing just because you don't win. <laughs> I know. I won't. I'll keep going. Uh, my wife's family. Uh, my wife's family does surf and turf like a big surf and turf meal oh. on Christmas every year. Ooh. And it's fantastic. It's like a thing that oh. I've really started to look forward to. It's What great. is it? Is it like, is it like lobster? Steak? It's like lobster and steak. That's oh. surf and turf. Oh, it's great. That sounds fucking yeah. awesome. Gabe, did it's you celebrate it's like I, any of the holidays growing up in your family? Because I know you've said like, we we're like Jewish, but we don't really celebrate Yeah, them. we're laid back Jewish. We did, uh, we did Hanukkah. Uh, yeah. But I think we only Kids did Hanukkah presents. so that we didn't feel bad about not getting presents. Like, there was yeah. none of the, like, we really liked lighting the menorah. That was, like, really yeah, fun. That's fun. Um, and, like, my wife and I will, like, Christina and I still light the menorah together, which is, like, a really cute thing. Um, and her mother, being the cutest woman of all time, 
uh, has so I like phonetically wrote out the like Hanukkah prayer for her because she was like, I really want to do it with you guys, and I don't know like whenever we're in Reno celebrating. Uh, and so now she's like learning the Hanukkah prayers, and that's, that's like a so fun thing cute. that we get to do as a family. Transliteration, baby. That's really cute. Yeah, yeah. The way that my Jewish side of the family manifests, because we didn't grow up celebrating Hanukkah, but my mom's side of the family is Jewish. Um, but my mom just like loves like everything about Christmas that's secular. Like she loves like the decorations and the food, and um, you know, she she has like sort of like Victorian Santa, like she wants mm. things to be very like classic and, and beautiful. Oh. But Christmas morning, our standard breakfast was lox and bagels. So oh, that's, nice. Where, nice. that's where the Jewish heritage came I like came that. In. I Which like is a that. great Christmas morning breakfast, by the way, because it's special, but people don't have to like stop and cook. So yeah. you can like, everyone can kind of serve themselves and, you know, it doesn't interrupt the flow of the presents. Yeah, I was just saying last night, actually, that I'm not Jewish as much as I'm like, it wasn't raised Jewish as much as like a very specific brand of like New York Jew. Like <laughs> yeah. that culture mm -hmm. is like just very specific. Like I almost associate more as like a New Yorker in that way than like a Jewish person when it comes to like a lot of these food traditions and holiday traditions. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. interesting because like, like Jewish is both like an ethnicity and like I'm ethnically Jewish, partly. Uh, and it's a religion and I'm not religiously Jewish and it's a culture. <laughs> Like, right. It's like yeah. All Truly. Three. Um, yeah. I looked it up recently, actually. It's it's not a race, but it's considered to be a race legally because of anti-discrimination laws. Oh, yeah. Huh. But it's like wow. my ancestry just like, wow. looks like this whole section. They're just like Jewish. Like they don't give it, you know, the other ones, they give it a country. They're like English. And then they're like Ashkenazi Jew. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they can't American say where person. where they're from because they were forced to move around a lot. Yeah. Wait, Corey, what'd you You're say? Always moved. Corey, you're I think muted. you've been muted. Are you muted? You're muted, bud. We can't well, we're hear not you. getting sound. It's just his holiday den is Hello. <laughs> soundproof. Oh, oh there, there it is. There it is. What'd you say? I was, I was just saying we've been we've been kicked out of every country. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 You go far I, back enough and I'm Spanish, but like I'm not. You know, like it's that kind of a thing where it's like we just moved around. Yeah. They were like, I was there for a while before we also got yeah, man. Mm. I mean, oh, that yeah. makes sense. It's a swear yeah, thing. Um uh, a few uh, at ten thirty one Katarina Jonosekova said, Lauren showing off those uh, showing Lauren showing our us those nails. There is no traffic, babe. I've been well, you stuck all that morning. landing <laughs> <laughs> all morning. I'm so tired. That's why I look like this. I've I've been up all night. She's been at she's been at the LAX. airport. That's she's why just she been... looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Her beauty Land regimen is. <laughs> yeah, Lauren's Lauren's nails have been getting a lot of love in the chat. That's so that. nice. I'm actually getting them but redone today. I was like, they don't match, but they're, they're nice. Yeah, they don't match. It's a different <laughs> shade not... of yellow. They are not maize. No, they're, no, they're not. not. They're maize. highlighter. They're Michigan highlighter. specifically maize yellow. Yeah. Maize and blue. Mm. Wow. Maize I've not and blue. Wow. I've never heard, I've never like heard anyone corn. describe. Yeah, no, I understand what maize is, but I've never no, heard like, anyone describe. But that like is, corn, actually. Like how, like a corn. But like, <laughs> oh, like. I do. Oh. A corn. Like a corn maze when they grow the corn maize. tall and then they cut path through it. Like M-A-I-Z-E. <laughs> I know. I do think it's so funny the the colors that schools like specific like Yale's. I could not tell you my thing. school's colors. Oh, Yale's Yale? is uh, I believe it's white and Yale blue. There is like a. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. That makes color. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Michigan. No. There's, there's a specific Yale Pantone blue. swatch for this color. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Wild. Uh, Yale blue. Wow. Yeah. I mean, look, my school's changed its mascot since I graduated, and I don't know what our colors ever were. They look sort of like Michigan's colors. I, I mean, like, I think they were sort of like dark blue and gold, maybe, mm. or maybe they were just blue nice. and white. Maybe they might have been blue and white. <laughs> <laughs> there was some um, blue in there, I think. So, fun fact: in the TCB brand guide, we also have several like specific colors. Ooh. Um, Ooh. There, we're, there's a. It's not. It's not like a pure black, but it's 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 Billy Black, which is the name of uh, a cat that used to belong to the neighbor. Uh, 
at our old place. And then there is Railroad, Railroad Gray. Um, and then there's like a off-white that is called Liam White. <laughs> um, Liam White. That's so funny. And then the tin can yellow is called Piss in a Can. Cute. That's great. That's I great. guess that's a lot easier to um, uh, navigate than like hashtag 18AB. Oh, yeah. F7D012. Yeah. yeah. That's um, the hex. So we're doing a show, and Katie <laughs> asked an interesting question. Which is, is this so the show? In the show, I think this is the show, Gwen and the squad are doing a toy drive. Oh, yeah, same uh, question. Um, I have and this Katie was wondering, will we be doing an actual toy drive for the run? And um, to that, I say it's definitely an idea we're kicking around. That's like a great idea. Um, <laughs> and we're also just kicking around also this idea as we're starting to write, which is kind of fun, of like where the fourth wall is in this show with mm. the audience. Because, you know, in many ways, like the audience the show is like... Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like a member is like a member of the Mayberry community, like coming to the drive, which is the show that the squad is putting on. Yeah, which within but, that show is where the grunge is being performed. Also, a lot of our language surrounding the toy drive and the charity of it was something we had to adjust. Leading, it's one of the reasons we think potentially that our Kickstarter was delayed in starting because oh. it took so long. It took like way longer than usual to get approved, and we were like, "What?" And is we happening? we had to like contact. We like realized we had a contact, and so we got yeah. them to like expedite it. Yes, and so and That's we think it's so because crazy. we were talking so much about like a toy drive and a charity, which are very specifically things you're not supposed you're not like supposed to do a Kickstarter for. And we're like, "No, but it's in the show." And so it's um, a commercial toy drive. Yeah, yeah, but also, but we'll be some probably some sort of real we need to thing we need to work out the details of like what that might entail but yeah um i'm sure there's a local charity that would happily take free toys totally um but yeah we just want to see or um, you tell the audience there's a toy drive and then you just see if they bring any fun stuff that you want to keep yeah yeah, yeah. We love exactly toys. you go mm -hmm. I, not saying who it's for it's just like we're collecting toys we're collecting toys i'm a collector yeah. Have, like good shit, please. I think yeah, I think the rule for Kickstarter is you just can't like raise thirty thousand dollars and then immediately turn around and put it in a charity. Like you can't like mm -hmm. raise money for charity in that way. But yeah, their their to, their approval process must have some sort of algorithm that's recognizing certain keywords mm -hmm. that are like mm -hmm. setting off uh, you know. <clears throat> Warning signs. Alarms. So um, at 1036, Frida asked, I have a question about the add-ons. Are the add-ons like the holiday card and the t-shirt the same as from the pledge tiers? And the the t-shirt add-on is uh is new. Or no, is the same, but the holiday card is a new thing. The holiday card um, so there is the tier where you're gonna get like the stationary set for you to like do like uh, send your own solvent squad cards and stickers and envelopes and stuff the holiday card add-on is a, a card to like addressed to you from the squad mm -hmm. so let's have some i just checked the kickstarter and we're real close to forty three thousand dollars like oh we God. are 48 dollars away from forty three thousand. Oh my Ooh. god Y'all, this has been very, this is very, wow, God, wow, wow, wow. This is very oh, special. Thank you all for, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, setting reminders and, and joining <laughs> in, mm -hmm. in the last few days. Because also we've, there's been like over a hundred new backers like in the last like, yeah. two days. So it's been wow. great. Yeah. So thank you all for like, just like, both everyone who's like pledging and adding on stuff, but for you know people who are coming in, in the last day, we really appreciate it. And yeah. if you add on to your pledge or pledge um, during this stream, uh, we'll do something fun with your with your name to thank you mm -hmm. on the stream. I'm really excited because like I I know most of these guys are old hat about it, but like I've never done a cast recording before, and that's, that's really so exciting. Fun. Yay, that's like a really cool thing. I'm that's very that. fun. I know it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be nice, and I just like thinking about we've been like plotting out what different songs 
we want for different places and there's going to be it's going to be it's going to be fun there's like some good going to be some good variety and like nick gage it's like he's just he's got such a good humor he is so funny in in like both his lyrics and like the kind of sounds he creates so these are going to be really funny songs did anyone see the bob's burgers movie sorry to no no Not it, was hard left. it was excellent i'm sure it was great yeah, it was so it. good and i didn't realize how much music is in that show and then there's like music in the movie too and it's it's all it's all really funny and it was stuff where i was like this is our song should be like this which is pretty fun yeah anyways. Mm. that's all uh nice. that should have been saved for a different meeting um, <laughs> that comment um yeah there's another Hopefully logistical on... question i'm okay. um, sorry from real fish cop um uh, can the shipping fee be used for the add-ons? Um, unfortunately, no. It's just very, um, it's, it's uh, more expensive than ever to uh, ship things. Is the question, um, can they translate the shipping fee to the add-ons, or is the question, will the shipping fee they've already paid cover additional wow. shipping the add-ons? Wow, I think you're right. I think it's Good the latter. Thinking. I think I misinterpreted that. Because if, if it's the latter, then that's, reason that's a reasonable I think question. That makes, I think that makes more sense. Um, and I, I don't, uh, I think with like something like the t-shirt, there will be an additional shipping. Yeah. Fee. We're, we're, we'll, for like the pins and the cards, if you're already getting the other stuff, we'll, we'll, we'll eat it. But, we'll throw um, it in. also don't worry about the math. If you do the math, okay. you'll be able to figure, like, figure it out later. Um, like once you get your survey and select which, which, uh, add-ons you want it will do the math for you and if you came up a little short it, you'll be able to just like uh fill up the difference and if you went over you will have the opportunity like oh get something extra fun yeah, yeah. Po pokemon trainers 101 um at 1044 asked will we get emails <laughs> will we <laughs> oh yeah uh, yeah, Gabe, did you just you? get off? Yeah, to just <laughs> ask a question. I had like, to get off. I had to sign off. Ask a question real fast. Sign back off. Um, will we get emails <laughs> reminding us about our rewards and when to receive them? Yes. You know, for those of you who are joining the Tin Can Kickstarter train for the first time, we go through. A, we use a program called Backer Kit, which will like. Uh, after the Kickstarter's over, yeah, you'll get all of like your emails. It'll be using the email that you have on this uh, the, uh, through Kickstarter. Yeah, which is a great point because a lot of people will put like a junk email address on Kickstarter because they're like, oh, I don't want those emails. And then they won't fill out their, their, their surveys for like a year. Like yeah. I still occasionally get a survey from like the Sona Kickstarter, which was 2018. And I'm like, you're oh, not yeah. getting your stuff uh, at this point. I just need to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, use an email address you actually check. Yeah, and we'll be sending stuff out. We'll be sending surveys out probably in the next month at the latest. And, you know, the goal, the goal, obviously, we have projected dates on the campaign. But especially since a lot of the stuff is holiday-centric, it's like the goal is to be able to get a lot of these rewards out by the holidays, which would be great. Um, which is when everyone's like, why are we doing why are we doing holiday stuff in May? It's like, so that because it takes up your holiday time. stuff by the supply holiday. chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's the time in this business. That voice presupposes that most of our backers are Muppets, also. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, Pokemon Trainer 101 and several other people also asked some questions earlier, uh, just about like when will tickets go on sale for the show and when specifically are the show dates? And we're firming that up. It's looking like probably the third week of November. TBD. We're still locking the venue, but that's TBD. the idea. That's like the idea. Thanks. Well, actually, Ashley, Lauren, Gabe, could oh, you get your calendars before. out real quick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just do that real fast. I'm pulling it up. And then the... Um, and then the, 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 uh, the tickets, tickets will probably go on sale like early. I think we have in our calendar early August. Yeah, uh, probably in August, like uh, several months out, but so you um, make your plan. Not imminently. Yeah. Not yes. Wow. 
Wow. Um, and then Clink, we hit 43. Clink. Wow. Woo. My God. Wow, wow. we jumped right over it. 43,473. Whoa. No, wait, Whoa. Let's start again. For, we are less 40. than 1,500 away from our, oh our, my our gosh. last watch goal. Um, Y'all are, go. and we still have an hour What if we hit minutes? it, and then we have to, like, suddenly come up with another stretch goal? And we're yeah, like, uh, well, Yeah, what we already remember? know what it is. We already oh, know Corey's yeah. going to dye his hair galaxy. Well, I don't know where you're talking. Sorry, I can't. Are you muted, Brian? I can't hear you. <laughs> what? Uh, was it, what is isn't it if we hit seven hundred and fifty thousand? What did we say we'll do? I think it's oh, seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred thousand. Oh, we'll do and sex wieners perform... and boobs. Mm-hmm. We'll perform sex yeah. wieners and boobs if we hit seven hundred thousand. <laughs> so seems there you go. Very possible. Um, um, so I think I wrote, ask... I wrote about. Oh. May ask, do you know what days of the week during the weekend the performances might be? It'll likely be a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know, we, we're not we're not these we're not New York where we have to do Monday, Tuesday performances. But it might be a Friday, Saturday, yeah, Sunday. Most New York shows don't do a Monday. Well, some, some do. Because we got to do a dress rehearsal on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No but, Thursday. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know. Wow. Um, so wow, wow, yeah, wow. this is incredible. I think we wrote about it in one of the Kickstarter updates, but um, you know, being at this uh, but uh, this amount is very helpful to our budget because the initial Kickstarter amount is not our full budget, but you know, we're right. walking this line between chunk, chunk and wanting your support, but like knowing that you know people are going to buy tickets and not wanting to ask for too much. So it's always kind of like this delicate dance with everyone. So we totally we so appreciate. Uh, this amount of support. Yeah. Um, so I, 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 I uploaded the. Oh, I I uploaded the video. Should we show that? Ooh, um, yeah. yeah. Do that first. So um, we um, yeah, yeah. at forty thousand dollars this morning. Um, we unlocked Solvit Squad back in biz, and so something we had specially made uh, for that was like an animatic opening theme. Uh, sequence of what it might look like in a real animated version of the show what what, what is this what 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 is back in biz what what did they it's probably the best digital theater to come out of the pandemic if i'm gonna be honest <laughs> that's that's yeah. not necessarily wrong it was very <laughs> well done i mean like circle jerk won a pulitzer but like we were close yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. whatever yeah yeah whatever um i mean it was uh we wrote like four brand new animated Sobbit Squad adventures and we did uh, two separate performances each with two scripts and we had the squad and special guests and we uh, it did it over Zoom but we did it uh, you know with like little Zoom scene but changes we and a, costumes. put a paint on it so it hopefully didn't look just like Zoom. Yeah so it was like kind of like it a looked, reading but more like an cool. online performance. Yeah um, and it, it was live. Yes. We did it live. That's true. And there um, are a few mistakes. No. 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 None. Sorry. We were pretty good about the muting and unmuting. I know that was the, the big That was the biggest one, but I, th- was being I think like... I got it wrong once. We all, we all got it wrong hey, once. That's, that's not too bad for like almost one. four hours of show. Yeah. It's a lot it's of content, it's folks. Content, a word I still hate. So um, we're going to give you a little tease of that right now, which is uh, the Solvit Squad back in biz animatic. And hopefully you can hear the sound. With the um, with, uh, theme song by Nick Gage and the actual Meg animatic Lloyd. by what? Meg Lloyd. Oh, yeah. Meg Lloyd. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Oh, let's see what happens. Meg Lloyd. And take it away, Meg. Peace and love. Back in 1995, four meddlesome teens and their talking dog, Kluber, achieved pseudo-celebrity status by solving mysteries that had somehow stumped adults. They called themselves the Solid Squad. Cracking cases in the 90s style, showing crooks crime never pays. But then Kluber got murdered in a satanic ritual and everybody went their separate ways. Flash forward. Esther's been on LSD every other day. When went into acting to pretend the pain away. Action. Back together, cause life sucks on their own. Solid squad, solid squad. Scooby Dooby, Ruby Dooby, Zippy Dooby Bop. Solid squad, solid squad. Getting 
Wow. Wow. I, that that is that is that is. I forgot how great that is. It is so fucking good. <laughs> There's like one of my favorite just like fast frames is Esther when they're just like staring at a fish in a fishbowl. <laughs> Like <laughs> trying to like communicate or figure like figure out what the fish is thinking. God, that yeah. not all, the song is so the song it, like does everything it's supposed to do, and then yeah. the animatics on top of it. It's just like what a joy that was. I forgot yeah. how yeah. fucking good that is. It's such yeah, a joy. Yeah. And so when we when we premiere the uh, the Solve It Squad back in biz episodes, you're, that's going to be in front of every video, which is so fun. I also um, forgot yeah. how funny the satanic ritual. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's and like Meg, all twangy. I love. I laughed Meg. out loud at the kids just a fucking reason. Yeah. I, Meg <laughs> did such a good job of like just at, like the visual kind of edits, like when we zoom in on Clifford's face and then it's just his head. Yes. And then like yeah. All those cuts. Yeah. And then seeing Keith as the cardboard and then falling apart. It's like there's just I so know. many. It's so, it's so good. good. It's so great. Yeah. It's and it I, it I, really I, nails the right yeah. amount of like it's like a kid detective gang, but just like the perversity of them as adults, like the drugs and just like yeah. the blood, like the bloody corpse going just through the depraved. hall. Depraved. Yeah. And like Keith yeah. and Gwen making out and stuff. Like, <laughs> what is like, happening? Right after the body. Yeah. <laughs> I, my my favorite part of the entire thing is just a flash forward. I don't know why that gets me every time. <laughs> so and funny. how like it like they they go around that looks like it's like a Simon Says squares and like they each get a little bit older and like yes. oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you see Keith's hair get gray and like they, it's just so I'm good. like Fantastic. that is so like like the animation and like stuff like that is so not my wheelhouse that I am so amazed when people can do that and like just all the stuff that Meg came up with I'm like how did you even like come up with this and it works so perfectly blows yeah. my mind yeah. I mean, also like storyboard artists are just incredible in general, just the way they're like kind of like the DPs for animation, just like where they choose to put the camera is so creative. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. incredible. We'll watch it again before this is over. Yeah. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we love we'll, it. We'll, <laughs> great, great, it's really great, great, great. We'll play it again before it's over. Um, if we hit 700,000, we'll play it again. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, I can also play, do you want to show people just more uh, of what we're... Yeah, we hit 44,000. Ooh, what? Oh my goodness. We still have an hour to go. I know. Um, Let's keep it coming. Just for reference, uh, we have a little like forty-five second sizzle of like the, the the rest of the reading that we can show too. Of like this oh. will be coming to YouTube. Oh, um, I so forgot about that. We'll see if we can hear this. Yes, okay. the rumors are true. The Solvit Squad is back in biz. Is it normal for a tiger to take such a big dump? <laughs> <laughs> Here come the neurons! That's my fucking line! <laughs> We look like maniacs. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to change that last title card. But everything yeah. else, put it on YouTube. That's a trailer, baby. <laughs> That's great, man. Also, this, the Joanna, like. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. So Joanna was so funny. Yes. Joanna knocks it out of the goddamn park. Like, oh. <laughs> All, so all of the guests were exquisite. She, I could not stop laughing when Joanna was doing her stuff. It's also funny as you're cutting between a bunch of clips, and it's just most of us aren't look the same, and Brian is just like, I miss the new, new ass and everything. It's so yeah, funny. Yeah. In our like writing session the other day, we were like, how can we deliver on the madness of everyone well, also, else? And we have like some thinking, funny ideas. Thinking yeah. about the show again... Like with the readings, it was easier because we were on Zoom and like you could we could fuss with some of the timing of things. But thinking about it again in a live sense, like we had to for the original show of like, oh, Brian can't do this because that would be literally impossible for Brian to for like to make work 
in like a. I mean, you know, there was a scene in which Brian made out with himself. So and listen, we will impossible. we will try our best to deliver on something similar this time as well. <laughs> There's already, but um, but I think you know, in in the event, that's the joy of having other actors as well to be like, oh, we can like make some scenes have you know. Yeah. I'll say I know I know that the like the quick switch uh, hotel staff scene was the one that Brian like gets the most credit for, it. but the opening number where it's like full costume changes. Oh every, yeah, that, that was the one where I was like, Jesus Christ! Where you had to overdress everything. Like Brian is this little kind of like uh, he's like a he's like a marshmallow man. At yeah, the top. Like he's a, like underdressed everything. Yeah, like a rough shot. Yeah, I think about it's work. <laughs> I think about oh, the chase right. too, where like two there two of you were in the the sp- spoopy costume, Wolf and Spoopy character. Uh, yeah. But like it had to be coordinated so that it looked impossible, and we were all and y'all had to carry me and anyway. That was I which was really there. tough because of how tall you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just remember we also like Joey, who has the bad back, was the one who was carrying the most people. Uh, so. Throughout the chase, it was definitely like, oh, yeah. okay, well, yeah, this is how this is gonna go. Yeah, there's that moment where Joey has one person on each arm, and then the demonic <laughs> fossil trips, and then Joey starts juggling the human bodies. Mm-hmm. It was insane. But that was only that crazy. That was only in New York. You had to be there. Yeah, yeah. You can't had say to that. Be, had, had to be, be there. there. Um, y'all, shall we do some shout outs um, <laughs> of the of those who have backed thus and and got us to this point? Yes. Like, yeah, of course we should. Shall we do some? Let's yell their names at the internet. Okay. Um, should we do Oh, I yeah. Was, what do you, what do we, we want to do? Should we, we do the big game? Yeah, that one we we didn't do that one last time. What is it? Yes. So so it's kind of like a little improv game where in, instead of singing uh, their name as a holiday number, we're gonna have to place them into a Soffit Squad mystery. Like, mm. uh, remember when Corey was the um, the uh, butcherous baker in the case of the Gilded Lily? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Wow, okay. Shout out to Shipwreck. Yeah, shout out to Shipwreck. <laughs> <laughs> Headless coming soon. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're going to um, we'll, we'll go around and do that uh, for anyone who uh, either becomes a backer during the stream or ups their pledge by at least $5. Um, and uh, you don't have to do that for nothing. You can also like add a, a fun wow. add-on reward as well. Someone did um, ask, how do I add the add-ons? Sure. Well, um, that's if you go to our a Kickstarter great page, question. Um, uh, if you go to the Kickstarter page, um, just you know, give credit where credit's due. If, if you scroll um, down to the bottom, we have like a little uh, of, our, of our about section, there is like a how-to add-on that should hopefully oh, are you guys smart? explain everything in a in a smooth yes, way. Yes, there is. It's just above stretch goals. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like this though. If you gave like ten dollars, or is that a tier? I don't know. Fifteen dollars? I don't know what our tiers are. So if you gave fifty dollars and you wanted to add the ringtone, you would just add five dollars to your right. You can change the amount without changing to a new change tier. the tier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But. But again, also like so, like let's say you add like the twenty five dollar pin bundle, so you wouldn't select the seventy five dollar tier. You would select fifty dollar tier, and then you'd get credit for the pins. But again, if you don't have to, you're not going to select your add ons now. That'll be right, later. It's just an so amount of money, numbers, and like, and they'll be able to continue to add add ons on backer kit if they have regrets later. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, they'll have like a potential like one last uh opportunity when they mm-hmm. get their survey in the same way of like if they like uh, didn't add enough for like did the math wrong like they'll be able i'm not to saying they shouldn't add it now because now yeah, yeah, yeah. is the part where we would reach stretch goal things, and but... like get, they'd get a shout out um Ex- but yeah yeah there are, we've got some great but add-ons. if anyone's having some kind of panic speaking of which yeah let's yeah. shout out oh. some people are we shouting out so uh, did, just, did i'm, I'm, How I'm we doing? extending Thank you. I'm doing this um, one. 
but yeah, at yeah. five dollars you can get the Solid Squad ringtone. Um, you could get uh, ten dollars gets you a Solid Squad holiday pin. Twelve dollars gets you a Grunge logo pin. Fifteen dollars gets you like a holiday card addressed to you from the squad. Um, and then we also have the three pin holiday bundle and like the the mm-hmm. ugly sweater t shirt as a separate add on if you aren't gonna do if you can't do the hundred dollar tier. Um, but yeah, I think and then here's some of the pins. They're very fun. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good question uh, from Jordan. There, if they up their add on, do they still get their original add on? I think as long as they've paid enough work? money for all the things they want. Yeah. Then... Yeah. When you get your survey, it's basically going to be like based on how much money you've given. You'll have the option to select the correct um, tier. And, yeah. And if you made a so, mistake, you can correct that. Yeah. And it's no, so no worries. You, if you pledged $65 on Kickstarter and you go through your survey, you go, yes, I want to stay at the $50 tier. And then I also like, I want the $15 holiday card. You'll select it. Or you could change your mind and go, actually, instead of the holiday card, I want uh, the ringtone and a $10 pin. Um, so it, it, you'll be able to like figure that all out later. So add now, think later. Incredible. Money Incredible. now. Thoughts. <clears throat> look at look at Menorah Kluber. Like we need, we need that. We need I that. love that. To be an actual man. God, I love that. Um, and look yeah. at he's wearing a little yarmulke too. Oh, it's fantastic. Just a little kipa. Um, so when Gabe went off, uh, we got another question from Pokemon Guy Lover, uh, sixty four. That's so crazy. That's and, so weird. No. <laughs> That's so weird. How did that happen? How did that? Can we get shout some that? people out? Yeah. Yes, I'm sending. Are they screenshotting? They're coming. They're coming through. I've got. Um, I'm sending three Where? three little images. Where and on the first this? image. Three little images. Trying to get three little through. images arriving on your phones. Um, and I'll save some for later. Later. Later, I mean, later, or is it going to take us text... the entire next hour to come up with? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting on that text, yo. Bum, 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 I know waiting. it's like my 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 iMessage is is taking far too long, and it's a little concerning. Hold on, one so second. So if we hit seven hundred thousand dollars, we'll get Joey a new phone. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, I'm screenshotting from my computer, and I'm going to my phone. I'm a little slow right now, y'all. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, well, in the meantime, uh, there was a really fun question a ways back. Somebody asked um, if we could play any other characters in Solid Squad. Who would we play? Hmm. Ooh. Oh, there they go. That's a fun question. Ah, there uh-huh. they go. Um, never mind. Okay, so the first, so with all these, remember, start from no. the bottom. <laughs> we'll I was get like, that question. It was a dumb question, and we were dumb for asking it. <laughs> um, but y- so the we're gonna start from not the, dumb for asking. No, no, no. no. The that was first kind of like a photo, quote from the first Squad show. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> the first photo, <laughs> you start from the bottom where it says about an hour ago. Okay. okay. Uh, and then we'll just go. Why up. are we? Wait, but why are we? Okay. They, they didn't send in that order. Um, no, I, they didn't I, send I in about that. an hour ago. No, I, I got that in that order. But so we're okay. Okay. Oh wait. So picture number one, bottom. Wait, no, no. There's two of them now. Do you oh, would just say the, whose name just is at the top? The name. Like say, we're starting with Sam, right? Great. Yeah. Great. Great. Yeah. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I remember Sam. <laughs> you guys oh, remember yeah. Sam, right? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Sam was the um, ludicrous lemon farmer from the case mm. of the cackling uh, citrus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You guys remember, remember that? that? That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, great case. Great. Their signature right. move was squeezing lemon in your eye. And it was like, oh, uh-huh. I can't see. And Esther was like, my glasses. And they protected from the lemon. So, yeah. Yeah. 
Mm. Amazing. Esther did it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Dave, wow. should we just go like around? Oh, yeah. Well, because uh, and then there was Emily, who, if you'll all remember, mm -hmm. um, was uh, the hamburger hustler uh, mm. in the case of uh, the too fast food. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just um, slinging burgers, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, also Katie uh, just backed. And Katie, uh, you, you might remember Katie from the case of the Post-it Pundit. Um, they oh. ran a uh, office supply company and were trying to sabotage the Post-it company because of oh. uh, that was Katie Krause. sales. I remember yeah. Katie yeah. Krause. Yeah, that was Katie Krause. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but we didn't we didn't get her behind bars because Katie Krauss was also, you'll recall the, the booch poisoner from <laughs> the case of the poisoned kombucha. Mm -hmm. uh, that is yeah. true. And, yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, that, that took out a lot of hipsters. So yeah. Um, uh, then we, we, we finally took her down for that though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Also, yes. Do you all remember, remember? Do you all remember the case of the, the, the wacky wino um, it was easy because Katie McCorkle, uh, who is who just played Molly was, McCorkle, Molly? Molly McCorkle. Sorry, Molly McCorkle, because, you know, we were like and their evil twin, Katie McCorkle. <laughs> and their evil twin, Katie McCorkle, who who they drowned in a big vat of wine. Um, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. but Molly McCorkle. Yeah, we, we figured it out because of the, the cork in the name. And that was how we connected them to the, the, that was the giveaway. Wine. Yeah. Yep. Lauren, do you remember any cases? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> remember? I'm here. Remember? Oh, do you remember one? Your yeah, turn. I remember it. I remember. But let me know if you guys can remember um, Left May. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I hope I did. But um, Left May was famously um, the <laughs> the um, the uh, Diet Coke dictator um, mm -hmm. oh. who, in the case of the um, soda in the case of this in the case of the soda slinger was changing <laughs> all of the um regular soda to diet and vice versa uh, that was yes. a nightmare, oh, was a nightmare. it was a big horrible. problem if you it's remember a big problem. horrible it was mm -hmm. a big problem mm -hmm. you gotta go faster um, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well you guys of course remember is it ronja or ronia uh, so sorry, but they increased their pledge, and they probably increased their pledge because they were the uh, pool poltergeist from the case of the uh, chlorinated klepto. You remember mm. it? Yeah, mm -hmm. we do. We do. Of course. That was like uh, Leo Luca, who was uh, the uh, sweater saboteur uh, in the case of the unraveling. It was just, it was this crazy mm -hmm. unravel. It was an unraveling mystery that just kept yep. unraveling and unraveling mm -hmm. the whole way through. That was a good one. Um, mm -hmm. Also, E. Williams uh, pledged, and we all remember E. Williams from the, the case of the, uh, the poor printers. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. They just kept sending just so many documents to the library printers and just tying them up all day long, printing screenshots of twitter it's terrible Waste of paper. oh yeah mm -hmm. uh you'll of course remember tanya the wayward werewolf from mm -hmm. the case of the weird podcast <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah 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 nice nice yeah. nice good plug <laughs> and then there was rach rach um who was the in the case of the chair charger where they would like put little batteries below chairs and they kept zapping everyone's butts and it was it was a it was a nightmare. I remember yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my butt. And who could forget E. <laughs> Williams? Famously <laughs> the famously the pool drainer just going around <laughs> draining everyone's swimming pools. Ruined mm -hmm. the summer. Ruined mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Um, yeah, then there was Alina Eno, <laughs> who, who was the, uh, um, the, the, um, uh, mischievous musician from the case of, uh, Brian Eno. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, uh, there was, uh, uh, Nana Peterson, 
uh, the grandmother groupie uh, from mm. the case of uh, the stolen olds, where mm-hmm. just a whole the bunch stolen of olds. Elderly went, the stolen <laughs> olds, right. where yeah. the elderly went missing. The olds got stolen. Anna was just taking yep. them. It's hoarding them. Uh, then there was Alyssa Crow, who uh, we all remember from the case of the uh, gas guzzling ghoul who went around mm. siphoning gasoline from uh, like Hummers and like it was more of like an eco terrorist sort of thing, but also like distributing that gas to uh, less fortunate people because gas is expensive, y'all. Mm-hmm. Well, oh. and y'all will recall Sharon Chang from the case of the satanic shutterbug where mm. she took pictures of people before sacrificing them in satanic rituals. Oh, mm. good. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. That, that was good. Like, and then the last week, you know, and then if you guys are, if you guys scroll to the next photo, there's Deborah yeah, Shapiro. Yeah. Deborah Shapiro. Man, Deborah Shapiro, they were the, the, the board, bo- board game banshee, you know? And remember, <laughs> they, like, got ev- everyone. It's like kids were playing board games all summer long, and it was, like, super. It was, a nut- it was the same summer that the pool draining happened because kids were just inside <laughs> playing board yeah. games. And yeah. Every time, you know, Deborah just came out and went and screamed at kids and like they flipped their boards and all the pieces whenever it was a nightmare. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And who could forget Lucy <laughs> Rusimato Campos, famously the first class flinger who would get in there and buy up all the first class tickets. So never <laughs> actually would buy first class. Yeah, it was a weird scam. It was like a yeah. very costly crime. <laughs> yeah yeah um and then we had jen schaller who was the mousetrap murderer speaking of board games oh. in the uh the uh, she was part of the the rube goldberg group which sounds actually like an investment <laughs> firm but it's not and set up these elaborate things to kill kids hell yeah uh then there was taylor thornton uh, who was the uh, the Rose Wrangler in the case of a thorn in our side? Uh, mm. You know, where mm. it just really just going through people's gardens, just taking all the roses, making beautiful bouquets, mm-hmm. but stealing. You know, you can't steal. You can't do that. Yeah. Um, then, uh, then of course there was uh, Casey, who we remember from the case of the big box break in who yeah. was the ringleader in a, a series of. Uh, just heists, uh, high tech heists at uh, targets. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, famous. Yeah, thing. you'll you'll remember Emma from that really bad summer we had. The case of the I Scream Sunday uh, mm-hmm. on which, in which every Sunday all of the ice cream was stolen out of every ice cream shop in Mayberry, and the kids were just screaming in sadness. Yeah, and, uh-huh. yeah. and then. You know, the next we had Kristen Hoxma, who who was just part of the 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 ABC um, crime syndicate, which was the always be closing. It was a crime syndicate <laughs> of salesmen. And mm-hmm. remember, Kristen, whenever she there's a lot a of swearing. Show, yeah, she went. You can't hawk it. Yep. 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 Yup. Yup. Yes. Yup. Yup. And who else? <laughs> yup. And who could forget? Wait, is it my turn? Yes. yes. Okay. And who could forget <laughs> Hannah Cardall, famous leader of the Bling Ring, where they would all go into famous people's houses and steal all their watches yeah. and stuff. That's right. That's right. Um, and Leaf K, who was the um. The uh, uh, the delinquent disc jockey from the case of the radio static. Whoa, you know mm. what it was about. Need I say more? <laughs> no. Sam Kennedy came back, returned uh, to up their pledge as the uh, trampoline terrorist uh, in the case of the bounce oh. house bonanza. Oh um, yeah, just mm. just slashing through little bounce houses. I mean, God, that case had its ups and downs. um then of course there was the queen of monkeys um who uh we all remember from the case of the uh uh 
suddenly there are no words that start with Z in my brain <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> the case of the zoo. Yeah, everyone yeah. remembers oh, the case yeah. of the zoo. Case of the zoo. Um, so yeah. Zoo. Yeah, and she, she really made a, a zoo out of the whole police force. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just pause really quick. It looks like we, uh, we hit our next stretch goal. Is oh my God! Oh my God! I cannot believe that. Yeah. Wow, forty-five oh six five, one hundred and fifty percent funded. That's incredible. Wow, five hundred and ninety-two yeah. backers. backers. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, guys, thank you cool. all so much. So cool. We feel warm here, that's despite very, all of you being nice. criminals. Yeah, yeah despite, yeah, all, despite of you. all these. But the thing is, you're turning your lives criminals. around. And you're look, they stole the money, they put it in the Kickstarter. They're basically Robin Hoods. Exactly. That's okay. Exactly. They're there, there we go. go. Hot Fox. That's right. All right. We've got two more. Uh, hot boxes. Got one more. We yeah, got one more so, page. Um you'll remember Jeremy the sauced stabber mm -hmm. from the case of Jack Daniels. Ooh, yeah, yeah of course. So he, and then he Avali, stabbed all those people. <laughs> yeah, big time. <laughs> and then Avali Long, the case of the short sighted shish kebab, uh, which was just like, mm. it was, there was that big barbecue that was happening and everyone was making the shish kebabs. But, but like, uh, there, for some reason, they, we, we couldn't see everyone far <laughs> we were all short sighted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um and it was like and everyone was like whoa what's happening and um yeah and then we started to you know the the uh yeah we we caught them we all got new prescriptions and um we caught them and no more people were getting shish kebab that's right <laughs> Mm -hmm, and who mm -hmm. could forget katie lemley <laughs> birthday party bandit who spent a whole year going around it was the case of the um the case of the oh my god what is that a birthday party the case of the <laughs> case okay gift the case, bounce uh, the case of the crusty cake uh Ew. Katie was going around uh, replacing everyone's cake with like old crusty cake. Mm, <laughs> yeah. And it sucks. Gross. Truly villainous. Uh, you all remember Alex de Villiers from the case, or the, uh, who was the conceited cook from the case of the de, de Villiers d'Eggs. Wow. That's the last name. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Hell yeah. Uh, and then there was uh, Andy. Uh, also, at, there was a summer of, of egg themed crimes because uh, Andy was the uh, egg extractor in the cooped up case of the chicken coop, um, mm. who would just go into mm -hmm. those uh, coops and and uh, you know scoop the coop. Yeah, mm. and then of course there was uh, Morgan Gerard, who was the uh, the the rum wrangler in the case of. Uh, Captain Morgan. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and y'all will recall Natalia Nalipa in the case of the cracked cactus. She was the masked person. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, sure was. Sure was. <laughs> I got a stroke. <laughs> ah, the suspicious stroke. <laughs> the case of the suspicious stroke. And then, and it, and it was suspicious because then we didn't know how to deal with it. No, we were like, <laughs> "Is there nothing paranormal involved in this?" And we're like, no, "Is there a doctor in the house?" In fact, because none of us are medically trained. The whole squad has no EMT training. Um, uh, then there was Mary Dokin. It was the case of the, uh, the, the, the lifting lion, um, mm. which was like, there was, there was like this lion that was getting really buff at the gym and everyone was like, we, what is this lion doing working out at the gym? And it was like scaring everyone away from using the gym because, uh, but then, you know, we found out it was Mary and Mary was just, you know, 
she just really she wanted to work out and wanted oh, to work yeah. out um yeah that was it and who could forget <laughs> justin waterman famously famously the um I need to be thinking of these while everyone else is <laughs> <laughs> But I'm listening to everyone's and that's where I went wrong. Um, Justin, uh, who could forget Justin Waterman, the the barber, the barber bad guy, just, just <laughs> coming out of the barber with these horrible haircuts and no one knew why. And it turns out it was Justin posing as a barber and doing a bad job. He was just in water, boy. Now he's just in water. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, uh, you guys remember Jordan, the dead dentist from the case of the phantom toothache? Really, Jordan was just smearing candy on them molars. Mm. Oh. That, Mary Dogan uh, upped her pledge, returning after the case of the lifting lion, in the case of the pumped up puma, a, a very yes. similar case, similar, very very similar case, we it was easily trackable as the same person because it was another big cat who had a weightlifting thing. Yeah, uh, was, so we solved that one pretty fast. They were just working on a different part of their body. Yeah, they were deltoid kind of a thing <laughs> yeah. instead of a instead of a hands. Yeah, it was a whole. It was a similar case, but we cracked that one real fast. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Allison Stuller increased their pledge. And Allison, uh, we all, of course, remember from the case of the uh, contaminated candy. Um, mm. Very unoriginal, but they, they were just wrapping razor blades in uh, candy wrappers. Like, Yikes. Classic. Yeah. It happens okay. so Classic often. Crime. It's a real problem. It's a real it's problem. With, uh, yeah. Jordan. Yeah, the dentist. Um, uh, yeah. So what I learned, well, first of all, thank you so much for donating or upping your pledge. Um, what I learned is that if we're going to have an improv section of the show, we got to keep it to five minutes or less. Otherwise, we're going <laughs> to run out of steam. <laughs> Including because that was about a twenty-six. <laughs> that, was a, that was about a, a twenty-six <laughs> minutes. <laughs> is that how that long was, it was? Yeah, that was a full Harold. Oh my god, <laughs> full Harold. And it wasn't even <laughs> great, that great good. third beats. No, great third beats. Yeah, man. Um, so, guys, we've got a little over a half hour left. Um, we passed our our next stretch goal, which is the squad is going to do uh, commentary on holiday film. Oh, uh, what yeah. kind of holiday film are we talking about? Yeah. Are we talking like like big budget classic? Or are we talking like? Some very low budge, terrible Niche. homework movie. Can like, we vote? Yeah. Maybe or maybe they should vote. vote. You can't vote. I think. Oh. Unless, you, unless you back the Kickstarter for, oh, no. um, for at least $5. Like, <laughs> then you can vote. It's just okay, a cup of Starbucks coffee, Lauren. What? Just a cup of Starbucks. Uh -huh. just, just give up your daily, one daily Starbucks. Just give up one Starbucks. Won't you even gas. give up one Starbucks, Lauren? You won't even yes. notice because you don't buy it. Yeah. What do you guys want to do for the next half hour? <laughs> I'll, hold on, I'll get Wendy. Allison said Wendy didn't get hers because she up before the screenshots were sent. I'll, I'll hit Wendy real fast. Wendy, Wendy was the case of, of the uh, uh, wretched um, uh, relinquisher. Uh, that's what she was, uh, in the case of, uh, the, uh, you know, auto body shop where she just gave parts mm. back to cars. Nailed it. Relinquish. And we there will be doing. Uh -huh. Great. Good. We, we will be definitely doing yeah, another round. Of and if you want to be in it. Yeah. Keep up in your budget. Um, yeah. do we want to go back to that question from, uh, five minutes ago from when we started this improv uh, bit. Um, Hell yeah. Uh, playing a member of the squad. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, not including I would want to do Brian's I track. Play. I feel like that's the answer. <laughs> not in the squad. I'm like, I'm like, I think Brian. I'd love to see it's, all of you do it. It would just not... be... <laughs> It's not just that Brian's no, track not is like extraordinary. A... It's just that also like these rules are very specific and they were like written for us. Like we, we were cast before the show was written. So like 
no one's going to be a better Scraggs or Esther or Keith. Right. right. And, like, so like. I would, I would love to do uh, Lauren's ants marching uh, full like <laughs> morning routine. Wow. Thing. That would space, probably be my yeah, I'll just space work. The routine. space work, yeah. Yeah. If we get to like to 50, if we get to fifty thousand dollars, we should all we should all do that. We should all do our own <laughs> version of the ants marching sequence. Mm -hmm. Perfect, love it. Ashley, you want to be Kluber right. so you could just go do your bit and then just go like uh, I'll be in the just go room. hang out. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, go, go sleep on the equity yeah. cot for the rest of the yeah. Hell yeah! And for all everyone watching at home knows, like you don't have any legs, so that would work perfectly. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, yeah, no, I am just a puppet from the waist. Yeah. I just end at the you, waist, and Joey can stick his hand. Right you are six it. five, but it's all torso. <laughs> it's an optical yeah. illusion. This is the reveal a, that Ashley oh is just a torso and above because <laughs> how she feels most Enormous comfortable. That's Kluber. Um, um, here's a question. Uh, from Beatrice, what's it like collaborating on a script with other people? I mean, obviously the three of us. Yeah, and, I'm gonna go know... to the bathroom. Okay, I was gonna. <laughs> pay that, that, that question is of no interest to in Gabe. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, and Ashley, someone else. <laughs> yeah. Someone else also asked. Uh, I saw before, like, didn't each of you write a different back and biz script? And you, you, you could talk about that in terms of collaborating, because you did write the first one together, right? The three of you, and then you each took a solo one. So, like, what's the difference the between? Yeah. Thanks for moderating. That's you're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah, we wrote the first one together, and then we each basically did the main pass on an individual script, and then we all came back. Or is that how it worked? Or did we for break back it up by scene? No, we wrote we, we a whole did. script. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we came Do you together remember? And we you... streamlined. I don't remember. You did the, uh, you did Cashes Out. Ca cashes Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, and then we came back together and punched up and streamlined. And though, though we like, we sort of like loosely came up with and broke each of those episodes mm -hmm. um, before we went off and so you wrote. did it like a writer's room you like broke the episodes yeah. as a group and then mm -hmm. you went off individually to write them how do you do like when you're writing you know the, the first episode of that you wrote together or the original show you wrote together this you're writing together like do you break it up in scenes and yeah. assign them out or do you that like all sit the, around and the pilot up i think when like pre-pandemic when we could all be together we would spend more time in a room together writing but then as soon as like the pandemic hit and then when we wrote like the whole wayward guide podcast like we scripted it during a, the early parts of the pandemic too we found out that like it was easier to just like take episodes or take scenes and then like try and make them mesh together um just because then like, we like revise and edit together yeah um yeah, so, sometimes we still write in the same room or virtual, like metaphorically. Um, we wrote those um, um, uh, well, what, Killer Guest uh, shows kind of like an exquisite corpse where we each took a different part of the same show. And we actually found that to be more challenging because people would introduce things in Act 3 that we then have to go back and introduce through Act 1 and like, Act 2. Yeah. So it is easier kind of just outline and then write together or outline and then just kind of go off well, we and do tend, our own thing. We spend a lot of time outlining together. Uh -huh. And yeah, like really trying to bring the like actual story dialogue. In, yeah. a, in a solid way. Like our outlines are very detailed and like this sequence or scene will feature like interactions between these two people so that like there's not like, and like, like a million ways it could go. Then yeah it doesn't lead and it'll be scenario. like okay this scene is between these two people this is what you learn or this is something that happens the sort of skeleton and then you just go and you sort of yeah make up the joke color like, in the lines mostly but like this could be on broadway we all wrote together yeah that we yes did. yeah that was like um that, that was like a together write recently that was like the first time we'd written all together in a room and a long time but yeah. really that is also just like it's discussions followed by you know 
20 minutes of silence as we all like work yeah. in the same document and we just like, watch what parts. each other's <laughs> cursors are doing and we go, oh, I see what you're doing. What if this happens later in the scene? And then just and kind based of like, on Based on Jordan's question, how easy was it to write the script if you knew who would play the parts? I think it also ties into knowing just the characters. Like, knowing who plays the parts is easy because you can just hear it in someone's voice. But, like, mm -hmm. coming back and revisiting Solve It Squad has been so much fun and way easier because it, re like, it feels more like when you create a scenario and a situation that the you're putting the characters in, it's way easier to just have... To, for for like what each character does in that situation to just fall into place like it's yeah. so and like you're you're less of like uh but what would they be doing it's like oh it makes sense that keith would be making this yeah in this situation and and i think that's like the that. difference between like writing this could be on broadway recently where we were we were figuring out the characters like a bunch of the characters yeah. changed a lot as we were writing so that was more of the process of writing together um and it, that was harder to do apart because we're still figuring it out versus like, at least with like the squad, we have like such a clear idea of who they are and mm -hmm. why they suck. Yeah, it's like <laughs> that improv of, um, principle of like, if this is true, what else is true? And the more you generate about someone, the easier it is to like find what the next thing is, you know, about their personality. Um, here's, here's a good question. Um, for Lauren, uh, that's not it. That's okay, just sorry. Uh, I went to click. I went to click a thing at the same time. Sorry. Okay. Um, this is for Lauren. Do you ever argue over plot story or script structure? Because you're definitely a fly in the wall on a lot of uh, these writing sessions. Uh, do they do argue? we argue? Yeah. Do we argue? Uh if I'd say argue I think you discuss a lot of things and sometimes it gets heated but it's never like you're not like yelling at each other or anything but I think it's like I mean I think that even happened with I know that this is not about this could be on Broadway but it happened with that too where it's like when you have an idea that you're really like excited about or passionate about you of course want everyone to be on board but that doesn't always happen because you all have different tastes and ideas so that can be where, like, not even arguing, but, like, passionately discussing things comes in. Well, and a, an interesting just tool for collaboration and just, like, being in this industry in general, which, like, they don't tell you at entertainment school, is, like, <laughs> the, being able to translate what is in your brain to, like, a collaborator yes. or, like, someone you're pitching to is a skill in of itself that is, like, very difficult. Because in your head, you're like, this is so good. It adds up. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, and just connected all the dots. So difficult. Yeah, yeah. you've exactly. got all the dots and been like, yeah, and then, and then this is this this happens in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, yeah. It's, and uh, but I think, I, I think that's where the like, not the conflict, but like that's where the discussion stems from. Where it's like, wait a second, I don't understand, and trying to, trying to get on the same page, and, uh, and also figure out like what like take a step back and go like what are you trying to achieve here like what are we trying to get at is there another way we can achieve it um and i think those sort of discussions make the work better yeah i also think there's you it also takes a level of like self-awareness on everyone's part too to be like because sometimes you'll you'll propose an idea or something and then you'll kind of discuss it and it'll get to a point where you're like, you know, yeah, this really isn't working, but you'll like double down on it because of like your ego or whatever. And you're just like, no, this is going to work. And like, I think it also takes some self-awareness to be like, you know what? This idea yeah. is dead. And I, yeah, I like, think that speaks to like the, the process of collaboration, <clears throat> excuse me, the process of collaboration in general is that like you've picked these people as collaborators because you trust their comedic sensibilities. So like if, if, two of the three of you are like this doesn't work like it <laughs> probably doesn't work you know like you there's a, a certain point where like you can argue for something or try and tweak it like i when i write i have the same thing where it's like yeah i feel strongly about this but at some point the people that i'm showing it to i'm showing it to because i trust them mm -hmm. and if yeah. they're going mm -hmm. back out like yeah you probably should get off that idea yeah. if it's two people you and they don't agree like usually there's a third answer to whatever the problem is you're trying to solve that is actually better than either individual one that both parties will agree on eventually um, um yeah. great yeah. great questions katie lemlin asked what was the oddest detail you had major discussions about in back in biz 
I think we got in some, it, it's interesting also when you, cause writing can be so personal that when we talk about ego getting into it sometimes, like sometimes you'll be like sure. driving to a writing session and someone will cut you off in traffic. And then that will come out like in defending yeah. a joke that you're like, this joke has to stay. But you like just have to be like conscious that you're just like bringing something else from your life yes. into the. You know what I mean? Like sometimes sure, you're sure. like, I need this win, and it's just like the stupidest <laughs> joke. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the ghosts of the heads in Keith's uncle's house need to talk. It doesn't make oh, sense. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, that yes. wasn't something we argued about, but um, I feel like no, that's a that's a no brainer. Yeah, yeah. there was some things with those animal heads that we did discuss though that like was a discussion. I can't remember what it was though. Might have been a detail. I feel like yeah. one of the major discussions was just God, what what was there a major discussion about something? I mean, we had oh like before we started all of them, a major discussion on like format <laughs> of the the episodes of like is that like does there need to be a mystery every episode or mm -hmm. like what like what is the driving yeah. force of like mm -hmm. the series um it's like a little thing i remember when we were editing uh solvent squad takes a chill pill and the scene in the um the toy store and i think us i had mm. done the first pass on it and someone was like rewriting the, like and changed like the change the wording of something and i was like no no you can't change that that's wop that that's the those are the lyrics what to wop. Pussy? yeah oh i yeah <laughs> i just think yeah I, we i i don't i don't remember who it was but i no, no, i was just like not, not getting like, that like, joke it. yeah I was like, <laughs> brian's, getting, <laughs> brian just, I don't brian's like i don't remember who it was but i didn't get that joke. <laughs> Really I didn't get that I joke. Don't understand. So and I was when like, I changed that. It was, and I was like, normally I don't care, like changing specific things. But I was like, that is a very specific lyric that has to change. It is a very dumb joke, but I don't I think, think if, you realize that's a joke. It's also yeah, just I taste think if, sometimes too. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Place like a lot of times like, you would get in things where like I like to, I like things to be like very short, and I go like it'll come up in the subtext. And like sometimes I get in a thing with Joey where Joey's like, I'd rather just be like more like detailed and like in the line. And so it's just like, what's the intersection of those two? Well, also, that was some, things? that was something that came up a lot with these because they were like readings where we were also describing a lot too. So like specifically in the in the fourth in the say no to drugs, there's a description of a lot of visual stuff that if it was animated, you wouldn't be spending so much time describing all of this stuff because you'd just be visually seeing it. And also just well, like- Well, but you would have had to describe it for the animator to know. You so, had, like, exactly. So you, you did have to give them the tools to, to make it visual. So, so I think like right. when, you, when you think about it, like as a reading of like, this one's it's like, but it wouldn't be long if this was- play as long as it if it would if it was actually you know anime. anyways mm. pretty fun yeah pretty fun stuff i um, have a question about your writing since we're like we're in this do you because two of you perform in it um do you prefer writing stuff for your own character or do you prefer that other people write stuff for your character and and that you write for other characters hmm that's a good question. I mean, sometimes, especially because we're like usually like writing, producing, and acting in this stuff. And if there's like a really short turnaround, for instance, on like projects with like a very short rehearsal time, I will rewrite some of my lines that people have written to make it feel more organic to how I would want to say it so that I can kind yeah. of skip that actor beat of like, how do I, you know, how do I make this, this through, line work in my mouth? Through me, filter mm -hmm. through me. So I just go, ah, oh, just like shorthand. Maybe I'll just turn these two words around. It's like a little more natural to like how I would like memorize the cadence. Yeah, I think it's we, a character I do that exact thing. same thing in my writing. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's a character thing where like I enjoy, I think me playing Scraggs there, doesn't, uh, there's no... There's no like, I, I don't have any like more specific ownership over it than because we all three know the character very well. So I think it's less about 
if it was like a new thing, uh, like I think a little bit about this could be on Broadway, like knowing this character is like, okay, this is a newer character. I think I was more in tuned, especially knowing like the turnaround for that was going to be shorter where mm-hmm. it's just like, as we're thinking about characters and lines and stuff, I was like, I, I could be more invested yeah. in helping craft the character from scratch. Whereas like for this, it's, uh, it's kind of like, I, I trust all of our mutual voices yeah. for all the characters. And mm-hmm. a yeah. lot of times when we, we do like the joint, even if someone has like done a first pass of the scene or written a specific line, when we, we go through it, like comb through it and rewrite it a lot of times, I think sometimes you like remember a specific joke you wrote or something like that, but it, it you do start to sort of forget of like, where th- did this come from? Because it wasn't like someone wrote it on the page and it stayed like that. Like everyone mm-hmm. touched it at some point. And so it, I don't know that there's like as much of a distinction always of like someone else wrote this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I do want to highlight that uh, Katie Lemlin has written in all caps 15 minute warning. Don't miss your chance to back this awesome project. Thank you, Katie. Wow. Yeah. Katie, thank you. Man. I know we've gotten kind of on a little. T- oh, we passed 46. Whoa. Oh, hell Holy yeah. Crap. Hell yeah. On our yeah. way to 700. Over 600. Over so 600. close to 700. 604. Yeah. We're just, we are just. 654,000, and $69 to go. And we got 15 minutes, so I think we're going to make it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I I think what makes this group really great from the performers to the writers and everything is that no one's ego is that big where everyone is like, (laughs) It is like tar- like um, laser focused on just making the best product possible, and whatever that means for their own personal involvement. Like everyone is, and it's kind of like that theater mentality too, where everyone's just like in it to make the best possible thing, which is great, you know. Yeah. Like best best suggestion wins. Like if the actor has a better line, or like you know someone's willing to cut a line to like make something make more sense, that's great. Yeah. Collaborate and with people all- like that. You all are very, it's, it's been very fun getting to revisit these people so much with you three as well, just because you all know them well enough too. We're like, yeah. And it'll be fun to do it live again. It'll be fun to get in a room live and rehearse bits and like get some of these bits, like actually on their feet and find out what worked better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not just me, not just me trying to not break while reading stage directions. (laughs) Yeah. Ashley, when was the last time you were live on stage? Uh, stage. What was the last time you felt alive? Uh, 1997. Um, (laughs) I think I'm, I think, I think Salvat Squad New York was the last time I was live on stage. Oh my goodness. Did you miss it? Are you excited? Hell yeah. Yeah, no, I'm super excited. Um, very, yeah, very well, much love, love, love live performance, love live audiences, love, love people. You know, yeah. and it's it's funny because it's like it's what I've been also sort of complaining about in the like world of Zoom auditions is like if <laughs> you can tell when you're in the room with people if they're with you, you can tell if something's working or not. You can, um, yeah, you know, you can kind of calibrate how your your jokes land, and you, you when you're just kind of yelling at a camera you're like i don't know if this is working yeah joke yeah yeah so... i don't have to find that soccer pitch and you know <laughs> that's yeah. right that's right yeah but bring it all um, back yeah no very very excited and also nice. like, you know that that is also like a final part of the <laughs> writing process i'm gonna finish that thought up really fast but like when yeah, we yeah, please. start getting together like we start figuring out if if stuff works like live yeah. and we you know stuff, stuff tweaks more mm-hmm. um great question for gabe though so throwing it over there it's an hey, absolute what was, yeah what was the last time you did anything <laughs> great fucking question y'all uh man that goes that cuts deep that gets real deep 
There are have, there were earlier in the chat as well, like a bunch of questions about Gabe's career. Is there an inside joke that I don't know about? There is, yeah, 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 yeah. There is. Uh, I, I've done because, like, uh, I'm all for giving Gabe a hard time, but like, what? <laughs> for sure, uh, it's uh, I, I've done some game nights with with some of the people in the chat uh, where we do some uh, Jackbox games online, which is uh, lovely. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful yeah, community, and it's very very fun. Uh, and uh, a running theme throughout that is that uh, I am uh, untalented and careerless. So it's been a really uh, exciting, no, in like a fun way. No, no, in like a in like a fun, <laughs> fun way. Well, they're not wrong. So no, yeah, I yeah. don't like that. I, did, I, I think the subtext of actual things I did. Whoa! I never noticed we went over six hundred backers. That's great, Una. I think the subtext there was despite Gabe. Lauren, uh, yeah, very convincing. Any one Lauren. of these that questions was... could could have a Gabe's at fault Despite context Gabe. to it. Yeah, you know, well, the only reason that... that everyone keeps wanting to work with Gabe is because his dad pays us. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, my dad has earned like, thirty thousand dollars of the however much money. He's six hundred my... fake accounts. Mm -hmm. There, and he, Gabe, he is and Pokemon Gabe, trainer. Gabe's one Pokemon zero. trainer one hundred and one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that that comment about you being a law a lawyer, Lauren, was when we asked whether or not uh we fight oh, during our things and fight. you're like you yeah. don't uh fight uh, listen so... i know well, how I think... to be diplomatic okay healthy dispute i think before we get to the end of the kickstarter here now is a good opportunity based on those questions about gabe's career if gabe ashley and lauren you guys want to talk about anything else going on in your lives uh performance wise or anything like that just did a cool musical improv show for the first time on Wednesday that I had not done years, which what wow. a wild yeah. experience. Live, a live musical improv show. Oh, oh uh, my god! <laughs> no, no, no. Come okay. Like um, really cool. That was a very fun thing that I did. Um, and then uh, the only other like career, I don't have any other real career things happening. So other things that are happening is, that. is yeah. Yeah, I, I do D&D &D stuff now. That's a, a fun thing that's happened in the pandemic. I like stream okay. uh, live D&D &D campaigns every Tuesday night, which is very fun. Wow. Um, into that kind of a thing. It is. It has been like a, a consistency thing, which has been incredible, is knowing that like every single week on Tuesday at six, I have like a place to be and a thing to do where I will be creative in a community. And that's been like fantastic. We love structure. We love structure. I love structure, which is why I'm so excited about this thing because it's structured. Yeah, that's really all. I that's really all I'm looking forward to. We not just crave structure. Friends, not making new things. I just crave structure. I'm in the wrong line of work. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's that's all. Go to Ashley. Make Ashley's face big. <laughs> Ashley, get big. Get big, girl. Let's see um, that full six five height. I only have a torso. <laughs> uh, well, in sort of the like professional actor how i like make money doing this is is that a, a lot of commercials um which is like great like to hey to, to my actor friends i've shot a lot of commercials lately yeah um, but Hell it's yeah. like not uh you know like creative and exciting for me to be like go watch my commercial also i have not seen any of the commercials that i shot this year airing anywhere so do Same. like tweet at me if Same. you see me in a commercial because i'm like where are they i feel the um, same way I want to TikTok, see TikTok probably. Um, but uh, yeah, and then on the sort of more creative side, I have a Patreon and I make a lot of content specifically for that. That's like pay Walden just for them. But this year I did launch a 10 year anniversary rewatch of the Lizzie Bennett Diaries, which was kind of Ooh. my first introduction to the internet uh, 10 years Ooh. ago because this is the 10 year anniversary of that. And so I'm putting out an episode on the same schedule as Lizzie Bennet Diaries, which is twice a week, which is a lot of videos. And we, we rewatch the uh, old ones and, and tell stories and um, make comments. And that's on m my YouTube channel. Fun. That is so fun. Yeah. Why? Get big. <laughs> get big, Lauren. Tell us about that Lauren, wall. Lauren, get big. All right. <laughs> <laughs> get big. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, I also have a Patreon. It's and it's fun, and I make a lot of videos and stuff. Uh, um, you just released a trailer for your Patreon not long ago that is absolutely satanic. 
<laughs> the amount of like insane yeah. Photoshop of dog faces on human bodies is wild. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I did have to describe it in one word, it would be satanic. So I think that is mm -hmm. correct. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of different stuff on there. We have a lot of fun. And uh, I just did a show on Sunday, uh, last like a week ago. So that was the, no, that wasn't the first time I was back on stage. But it was really nice. And um, what about that what show? I was for. What? What about what is that, that show? show? What? What? What is that oh, show? Oh, yeah, right. Wait. Okay. Uh, I well, I will be in a show at the Edinburgh Fringe this year, which is very fun. Have you been um, before? No, I've never been. It's always been a it's kind of been a bucket list thing. Of I've mine. never gone as a performer, but I went as an audience member, and like it, it's very cool, very fun. Have a great. I time. will be going as both. I will be watching a lot of stuff, <laughs> and I'll be in something, so that'll be fun. Hell yeah! I can't That's wait so to do fun. a play. That's so fun. And be in Scotland. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Scotland. Yay! The reviews yeah. are in. Everything, everything y'all make is great. People love it. Thank, thank, and, I see. Um, thank you. Um, Gabe, what is going on with your career? <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all. Oh, oh no. and Lauren's back. Get Hi, big. Lauren. No. Get big. <laughs> Get big, Lauren. Um, Get big. All right, y'all. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start sending out some uh, some uh, final round. Of things. Let's go. Um, I think we should, um, you know, we should count down in the meantime the five <gasps> minutes. Uh, well, we shouldn't do a countdown, but we should just be aware of that there's only five minutes remaining. <laughs> we shouldn't be like five minutes, four minutes and 59 seconds. For me, the best part of getting to shoot the Kickstarter video was getting to see Diane in person <laughs> well yeah oh, that was huge wow that's when we found it out is... in the first solve it squad rehearsals that diane hates dancing hates it <laughs> well not a specifically fan. gabe's dancing <laughs> yeah Specific, gabe's yeah dancing. whenever i did my like solve it squad like stuff she did not enjoy that she made her opinion known and she was yeah, like so it's very no, no career you, for like, you no career for move you. Yeah. toward no lauren for you. in a certain way like if if she thinks lauren is being threatened she gets very upset yeah, don't like hug me or anything in front of Diane. She does not like it. I feel the same way. If anyone moves towards Lauren in an aggressive manner, I shut that shit down. <laughs> it just taps. I just scream at them. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> All right. Some are getting sent. Some are yeah. getting sent. And okay. then, um, okay. and then obviously the last, back, everyone. the last, if you and want I'm gonna to be in the last bit of updated shout ones as well. Yeah. Um, this is great. I Three minutes can't left. believe this is happening. It was a fast and furious campaign. Um, yes. although all in all, is it 23 wow. days or 24? 23? It doesn't matter. Some, <laughs> somewhere around the days of Christmas. You know, we did our own countdown to Christmas. On the 23rd day of Christmas. <laughs> We finished kickstarting. Yep. All right. It should be coming, y'all. Here, Here they come. Here they come. What are we doing here? It's just, just them. Oh my god, this is a lot. And yeah, there's so even more get... too. Oh, we gotta. We, we yeah, can't do the full. Three minutes. <laughs> no. Okay. What are we doing? Sorry. Or I mean, two minutes left. Yeah, I think we're waiting until the campaign ends, and then we're gonna do the final group of names and say our goodbyes. And in the meantime, we're just jamming out to this theme song. Oh, okay. Gabe, don't. Sorry dance. if it was loud. I couldn't hear. No, no, no. We don't want to. We don't want to forget that. I have to. It's okay, she's not looking at you. She has a yeah, choice yeah. of where to look, and that's not where she wants to put her eyes. No. Hell no. That is correct. Okay. Okay. I'm hundred seconds left. Because this is still long. And if we and there's a lot of repeats because everyone is uh been upping. 
upping and stuff. So if we if we end up skipping you, we're so sorry. If you pledged or changed in, in a short amount of time, just so we can make them get for everyone. Okay, eighty seconds left to get to seven hundred thousand. Wow. Okay, we're really <laughs> close. Seventy-seven seconds. Wow, this is incredible. Forty-six. Oh, it's fun watching the count. I gotta watch the count. Yeah, it's really weird, but it. Started yeah, if you go to the page. I know, I'm watching it. 63. Ooh. Oh, it turns red yeah. when it's under a minute. Oh, oh, I don't like that. I didn't time that right. And now we take a moment of silence. <laughs> no. Think about... Just reflect well, on the gratitude. This was a miracle. Never mind. Never mind. A miracle. Um, over 600 backers. Very exciting. Very cool. Very wonderful having you all here. It was a damn miracle. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Every single time it's a miracle. So, you know, raise a glass to the grunge. To the grunge. <laughs> here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're a bean pipe. Oh, that was time to do it. You're a Look at all those little greasy goose. goose. You're wow. a Twinkie Weenie sandwich on change. an elephant caboose, Mr. Crunch. If I had to sum you up three ways, it would be as follows. Funny, spooky, and coming this holiday season live in person and anywhere with the real connection. Yay. Oh, we're going to have to cast that choir of children. I forgot. Wow. To all 605 wow. of you, thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of this and making it happen. We're going to do some uh, last minute little thingies. 46176. That's a good, um, that's amazing. A nice There's two. Yeah, that's, that's, that's an fun. amazing. I like that number. I like that 605, number. 46176. Y'all hit all the goals, which was such a joy. Thank you. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. And um, yeah, we're excited to do the show. It's going to be a fucking blast. It's going to be really fun. It's fun to laugh again. Oh, yeah. Okay. I um, <laughs> right. two years. So I think, we should just, I think we should just go back and do it. This could be on Broadway style and just riff them. Okay. Great. Oh, my love, God. There's so riff. many. Okay, so I'm just going for that. So maybe so, I'll start. And... So this could be holiday themed or not at all. You, because this is a musical, we're just gonna riff these names. Just sing uh, them. We're riffing yeah. them. So yeah. are we starting with 18 minutes ago, or where yep. am I? The eight, but yeah. the first photo. Here we go. Who wants to go? It's just uh, you just sing the name. Great. Yeah. Cool. Got it. Okay. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Lauren. Lauren. Oh, Lauren. sorry. Sorry. Tanya Trainer. Had a card on. It's me. Uh, Jeremy. Lindsay Vogelar, thank you, happy holidays. Miranda Boehm. Miranda Boehm. Basil Host. Creature Soul 446. <laughs> Ruth Spinelli. Jennifer Feeney, Jennifer Feeney, Taz, 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 Elliot. Taz, 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 Taz. Uh, Elisa Douglas. 
Lisa Douglas. Shrek into a dangerous Christmas song. I'll here. kiss, kiss. You gave us your pledge. <laughs> um, Katarina J. You gave us another pledge. Oh, that didn't fit. That was great. Oh, it was perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Simone. Simone. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing hey. Christmas of um, Oh, am I next? Hey, no, no, not. Beautiful. Wendy Roar, Roar Dink. Um, uh, Celestial Don Anderson. Um, Katie Lemlin. Katie has a last name Lemlin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Heather Tennant. Woo. Angela Thompson. Angela Thompson. Angela Thompson. Pledge to us. Hmm. Taylor Bennett. Mm. Mm. Um, uh, Celestial Dawn Anderson increased their pledge. Thank you. Um, uh, Anna Fleur. Anna Fleur. Anna Fleur. Gabe's mom, but um, pum pum pum. Ha, great. Confirm, not my mother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Gabby Valderrama. May Rock. Mm. <laughs> oh, so we just keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wait, uh, what? Sarah woke. My love. Wait. What? We're doing the 12 days. Christmas. Yeah, wait. I I think I'm on the wrong list. Wait, no, where? We just 21 minutes ago. Uh, oh. My love. Oh. Uh, Chris in Norton. Una Parkinson. Oh, Keystis. <laughs> yes. Rebecca. Tamara O'Rourke, Alisa Douglas, and Celestia Good. And we keep going. Yep, um, yep. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Kristen Norton, Leo Lube, Lubke, uh, Ruby Savant, Annette. Fussly Brustad. Tanita Fussly Brustad. <laughs> and Chris. Willow. No, Willow Cook. Sarah Woke. Emily Fable. And Oh, Sarah Woke, increase their pledge. Uh, Dana Trainer also increase their pledge. Allie Young added to the pledge. What is this? Is this a song we're all doing? It's dreidel, dreidel. Yep. Dreidel. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, um, Amy Nesbitt also increase their pledge. Tamara did it too. Very good. Thank you. Nailed that last name. I am so sorry. Huh? What? what? Frida, Frida, <laughs> Frida, Frida. Right? Am I in the right yeah. place? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think you just broke up or I went away. Yeah, we didn't hear you say it. I think <laughs> so it's probably Julia. And thank you, Tamara. And they creature cell four four six. Um, okay. Um, All right. Kelly O'Rourke, Kelly O'Rourke, Kelly O'Rourke adjusted. Jane Leach increased their pledge. 
And so did Leo Lupka. In bar or an increase their pledge. <laughs> May Jensen pledged to. Brit Roulette pledged as well. And Jessica Chamberlain as well. <laughs> um, new song. New what's song. another new. song? There's How about this? Oh, I think Corey did this already, but this we can still do it. Megan Seal. Mm. Nice. Rainy Blaze. Tomislav Kralj. Red Roulette, Jessica Chamberlain. I'm opening the list. <laughs> Megan Seal? I'm getting the pin wheel of that. Uh, and Megan Seal. Wait. Right? Am I on the yeah. right one? Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, but you're Alicia. Alicia went back. Oh, you're right. Alicia Wooten. Anika. Tazariet. Brianna Stutzman. <laughs> Lucy Wood, if she could. <laughs> Jen Schallert. Katie Wow. Was that a new song? Do I have to know that song? Joe Ro. Joe Ro. Joe Ro. No, I was buttoning. Oh. Joe Ro. Um, uh, uh, new song. Um, Liz Shay, oh Liz Shay, come light the menorah. Oh, Leo Loop Key also increased their pledge. Joshua Log, you, you pledged as well. And I said KDA, so I'll also say Lu Leo Loop Key. Uh, I don't know this song. I don't remember just this riff. song. Then just riff, then girl. Then riff, girl. Get, get big. These are all repeat names. Almost. Basil. Uh, Miranda Bowen. Uh huh. And Megan as well. <laughs> and Leo. Thank okay, you. and we have just a final series of just like. So like you five. increased your pledge like 20 times. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, truly. Okay, this is the small one. This one's very small. It's not even a full page. But that's okay, because we'll do this yeah, all day. Shout you out. Want us to I don't want to do this all day. All day. That's okay. fine, all day. The final one is coming in. Um, but as just, a, go, as just a final thing, um, I haven't been looking at anyone's faces for a while. I've been looking at my list, so oh, yeah. I, I look back and everyone's just like, <laughs> also, like somebody here says the way Ashley said my name was so funny, I can't get over it. But on here, your name is Clink. So, like, how do I even know what name I said? Bad. <laughs> Impossible to say. Okay. Look, I'm a dumb in. American. So, Feliz Navidad is a very good recommendation as a song to take us out. Oh yeah, let's do Feliz Navidad. That'll. That's great. That'll finish it up. Okay. Yeah. Feels but a little white. Right? You sending you it? You know. <laughs> it's sending it's my Doink. little pun. Doink. it's sending it's mm -hmm. yep Doink. is it just one more thing yeah you know what's fun is that after we hang up this live stream because this live stream is a telephone call um we're just not gonna we're we'll just see each other on the first day of rehearsal in october <laughs> so see you guys then uh and all the best between now and then. not a second before then uh i'm getting a pinwheel of death it's like God, everything's uh, moving. Uh, oh, maybe you're just gonna have to shout out the names. Are you using Chrome, Joey? Oh, uh, <laughs> Any last minute things people want to say about commercial auditions before we wrap this up as well? <laughs> Always button. Always mm. button. Just a Always. little joke. Throw it there at the end. <laughs>
Always button commercially. A, B, C. There you mm-hmm. go. Nice. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to send it. Be casting. Oh, Your name is Simone. What were you doing? It was, it was sending to my, my computer, but everything's moving. My ah. computer is just... Ah, there we are. Okay. Okay. Here's the All final right. one. Here we go. Hold on. Sorry. Okay, Whose turn is it? Start us off with some Feliz Navidad. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, Katie Lemlin. And then Chardonnay. Amy Nesbitt increase their pledge. Amanda Browning. <laughs> Leo Luca. Yeah. That's Emily. And Cassandra Peter as well. <laughs> Ruby Sava. Megan. And Emily Day was the final person to pledge. <laughs> Thank you all. And that's Feliz <laughs> Navidad. Turns out this is a bad song. <laughs> this is a bad <laughs> Wow. Uh, okay, don't worry, don't worry, though. I want to wear a suit of part. Never got there. <laughs> no, don't worry, because Nick Cage will be writing all new original music. We're not going to have to butcher any more of these holiday songs. Yeah. Um, which is exciting. And, you yeah. know. We get to do a cast album because of you. We get to release these back and biz readings on YouTube. We get to do this yeah. uh, fun squad commentary uh, Yay. thing. Um, and this is so exciting. So thank you it's gonna all. It's going to be a really fun season. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Bye, um, everyone. God. Or is oh, there any other on. things we need to say? <laughs> oh. No. Um, t- just look out for um, if you're a backer for surveys in the you know the next few weeks, and um, always feel free to message us on Kickstarter Messenger. Any um, if you're a backer, comments, concerns. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, check out all these wonderful people's uh, Patreons and uh, live streams and D and Ds, um, and cool. this will be great. Yeah, you all are okay. so great. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you, guys. Thank you to you yeah. three. Thank you to you two. And thank you to you thank all. Thank you to there. the Tin Can Brothers for bringing yeah. this vlog together. Get big, y'all. Get big. Get big. Bye. Peace and love. <laughs>